Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Rail Fuzz by Petty John Electronics. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way it won't be signing any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going to check them out. So the Rail Fuzz is kind of like a fuzz, but also borderlining on distortion at lower gain settings, and it's the first pedal out of Petty John Electronics new series, the Core series. So the rail circuit takes a unique approach to generating fuzz, which does not rely on clipping diodes or finicky vintage transistors like most fuzz pedals. Instead, the pedal literally boosts the signal with extreme levels of gain into the voltage rails, and hence the name of the pedal being rail. So on the front of the pedal, we have some simple controls, which are actually more complicated under the surface. So we have a drive knob, which is an eight position rotary switch, which goes from low gain up to the infinity mode in the highest position, which simulates infinite gain resulting in high gain gnarly fuzz tines. We have the level control for overall volume, which is also fully buffered from the outside world and will not load or tine suck, which makes it great for stacking with other pedals. We have a large control that features an active 18 dB octave, high pass filter with a high range from sub 30 Hertz to beyond one kilohertz. The high control generates a huge amount of high end harmonics. Again, 18 decibel octave, low pass filter, sweeps from 20 kilohertz down to one kilohertz. And the dual rail internal power supply Supply mirrors whatever power you supply. Like I said, it works great from 7 to 18 volts, doubling whatever you put into it. Lower power input results in lower headroom and increased clipping, and high power input for higher headroom. So, we're going to check out the rail fuzz with a couple of different guitars. We're going to use my Matmul S Classic for some Strat Tines, my Matmul T Classic for some Tele Tines, my 1964 Reissue Gibson SG for some Humbucker Tines. The amp I'm running into today is my Hampstead Artist 60 Plus RT, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. But in this demo, I've actually got it kind of on the edge of breakup. So, when you dig in, you get better overdrive because I really think that fuzz pedals work best going into amps like this. Then the amps running into the Tone King Ironman 2 attenuator just to knock off a few dBs. Then into Celestian G12M 65 cream bat speaker has been recorded by a Lua MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the amp sounds like this. Thank you. 
so there we have it. That was a look at the Core Series Rail Fuzz from Petty John Electronics. This has definitely become one of my favorite fuzz pedals. It really works well with other pedals, but you've got so much flexibility in there as well, ranging from kind of distortion time all the way to really gnarly fuzz tides. And it really handles different guitars really well as well. Having that two band active EQ on there is really killer. And then of course you can experiment with how the pedal actually responds by using different power inputs from seven to 18 volts. So it's a really flexible fuzz pedal. I really can't recommend it enough. I was actually really really blown away by this and the amount of pedals that I actually play nowadays it takes quite a lot to really really impress me but let me know down in the comments what you thought of the rail fuzz by Petty John Electronics and if you go and pick one up for yourself again there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos these do help support the channel out further so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out if you did like the demo video please leave a like comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well that way you won't be starting any of my future uploads other than that go to my channel check out some of my playlists I have plenty more lessons covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.